Bonjour, bonjour, fragrance lover. I hope you're well. I am very well. Thank you. And I'm glad uh, to have you back on my channel for a very original content once again. But don't worry, we'll be back for some more original content after. But I felt I wanted to finish uh, this year, 2019, with the list of fragrances I've enjoyed the most during this year and the ones that I've been wearing the most or some that has been a big surprise. So stay with me. So before we start the video, please subscribe to my channel, hit the little bell to see more of my video and to be uh, alerted when I'm launching a new one. And, uh, and that's it really, follow me on Instagram as usual and please share your comments and your thoughts in the description. And please be kind to everyone and, um, and that's it, let's get it started. So the first fragrance that I enjoyed the most uh, during this year and this is actually so so recent because I purchased it uh, last week and um, after being trying it on my skin a few times and this is the one that of course I didn't wear that much for now but uh, this is definitely a fragrance that I fell in love with at this end of the year so I had to talk about it and uh, <laughs> this is this one so this is Soleil Right on food and uh, I'm so so happy to have it next to me it's like you know I purchased it it was expensive but I was so happy because I waited and I've worked to have this fragrance so I'm really really happy um, but yeah this one Solenage smells really truly it's an oriental floral it has a touch of bergamot when it's opening and there's a lot of benzoin vanilla inside and a lot of white flower but overall this is not important what is important is when you spray it up it, you smell all right <laughs> you smell like you're going to the mountain it literally smells like a sunrise uh, over the mountains and smells like snow as well very powdery it's intimistic it's very unusual when you wear it like people gave me compliment already about it but it's not that that strong but you really feel it when you're moving and on you and this this is i'm so happy the next one i wanted to talk about for this year is a fragrance i experienced wearing uh, during the year few times not the most of them for sure because i didn't purchase it before and i was always thinking of buying it but i don't know there was something I don't know like priorities in life blah 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 uh, but yeah so I've bought it recently and I'm really really happy I actually bought it at the same time as the other one <laughs> but again this is something I fell in love way before this year and uh, that I really did enjoy wearing or, or actually like I gave compliment to person wearing it uh, it's a male fragrance but I think it's also for ladies it's really unisex and it's a replica so this is from Maison Margiela and, uh, and this one is a Jazz Club. So there's a lot of citrus at the beginning but you don't smell that at all when you spray it. What you smell is mainly like rum, so it smells like a cocktail and I've got an image when you smell that and it really makes me think of that is I see like a, a room like not too dark uh, with not too much light. I see like uh, you know club sofas or you know things like that and uh, having a cigar, a little whiskey and there's a fireplace in the corner that's really that's really what it is and I love that, I love love that and I find it so sexy as well, it's so sexy on a man, uh, I feel on me it is as well, I hope so but, uh, but uh, it's really a fragrance that I love and I'm so happy to have it finally in my collection. 
Then uh, the third fragrance I enjoy the most this year and I think it's been two years I'm craving to have this fragrance in my collection and I finally buy it this year, bought it this year and this is, I already talked about it and it's the Revenge of Lady Blanche, look at this box, it's so beautiful, ta-da, look at this bottle, I mean how beautiful is this and it's heavy and I have to say when I pay this price I want a heavy fragrance. Sorry to say. So, Pen Elegance, uh, the, pot, the Revenge of Lady Blanche, uh, I've done a little quick video, I think, on it as well. And um, there's a lot of Yacinthe, Narcissus, and Iris. So it's quite powdery. It smells green, intoxicating. And there's a little story uh, around it that really makes me think of this fragrance. Like, I do feel like Lady Blanche every time I'm wearing it. It's not a good thing, definitely not. It was a lady, basically, she wanted to grow in high society and she was married to a man and basically she decided to poison him and then she could grow into the highest society. So that's really bad, I don't want to do that. But um, I find it quite, like, I don't know, attractive. Like, it's, it's a character, you know what I mean? And um, not saying that is good, okay? But... <laughs> But every time I'm smelling that, I can see the idea of a narcotic or a poison, which I do really enjoy. And Narcissus flavor is such a beautiful flower. And if I create a fragrance one day, I would put Narcissus, for sure. This is one of the subject of one of my latest video in my 10 reviews. Uh, reviews I talked about Myla Harris Sherzo. This one, I'm not gonna talk about it at all. And I'm gonna invite you to have a look at my 10 perfume, 10 minute perfume reviews about Myla Harris. This is one of the fragrance I wore the most this year and uh, I never get, I think it's definitely, definitely actually my most complimented fragrance ever, like ever. And, uh, one of uh, the fifth fragrance I enjoy the most this year, so I recently bought the Eau de Parfum, but I had the Eau de Toilette before that I wore all summertime and all summer long and that I absolutely adore. So for winter, I still wanted to enjoy this fragrance, but I knew there was a woody kind of version available. So I bought that last week as well, uh, which is um, Diptych Philosikos. So I love Diptych fragrance. They make me feel overall of a vintage library. I don't know why, like the vibe, the style of the, the boutique and everything. Like, I love this, this, uh, this brand, um, but Philosikos is something very special. It's really a soothing fragrance. So they use the leaf, the trunk, the flowers of the fig tree and it gives you that perfect juice. Um, and it's really like smell like the, the Greek seaside with all the fig tree that you can imagine over there. I've never been, but uh, somebody told me it was like that. <laughs> my experience, like my grandmother had a garden greenhouse, like a very tiny one. And when you used to go like um, in, uh, inside, it was, covered by this humidity all around and it smells like very green intoxicating and this is this is really what it's like for me uh, this one so I, I really adore this fragrance and I'm so glad I put my hand on the Eau de Parfum because I love the Eau de Toilette too but it's more for mid-season you know this one for winter gets a little bit of a woody notes in the trail so it's quite nice to wear it as well uh, for the winter uh, one of the fragrances i wore the most this year for sure and last year and the year before <laughs> uh, was um Mer and Tonka by Jo Malone uh, so this one is one of the colony intents i've talked a lot about it as well uh, i really 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 adore this fragrance because it's it's got that oriental vibe without being, it's not sweet at all, it's not too ambery, it's not too woody, it's really like a bit in between of everything, so there's a lot of myrtle, kevin, almond, it smells really addictive, like um, the first time I smelled it I needed to smell it more and more and more and more, so it's really like that. If you never tried it, I really insist like you need to try that because for me this is one of the best Jomalon. And also, like, I don't know why I get this Egypt uh, kind of feeling, like, uh, do you know the, the first perfume, the Egyptian uh, were used to, like, um, they were not spraying anything, not rubbing anything, they were putting, like, kind of resin or wax on the head, and they were burning it, and it was just dripping, dripping wax on them, 
and this wax and resin used to smell something and uh, one day uh, I had the occasion to try uh, this wax or what is was the most similar to what they were using and it did smell a bit like that so um, I don't know I feel it's really special the fragrance I wore the most this year and uh, this is one of the best moves I've done for my fragrance journey um, is uh, to go to Tom Ford to have a seat and to really dive to uh, the private blends and I'm gonna talk about the second Tom Ford I own which is uh, Santal Blush and this was my first love literally my first love this smells like sandalwood very creamy but very powdery at the same time it's smoky it's addictive as well it smells like blushy like a beauty product smells like beauty to me like completely this is good for ladies good for men it's no gender which i do really appreciate in the fragrance when you can't smell any gender um and i don't know like cinnamon very wait where is the cap How did I lose the cap? As if it's not expensive enough. <sighs> anyway. Oh, this is so nice. Uh, like, I mean, this sandalwood is one of the best sandalwood fragrance I ever smell. And um, I don't know. Again, this smells a bit like Oriental with a touch of benzoin, so it's definitely more my style for sure. I love Oriental. So it, it feels very attractive, like you want to smell it again. And it also smells very clean. Um, but this is a fragrance I remember, so I've tried it the first time. Then I went to the bus uh, with a sample on, like, sprayed on my, on my uh, wrist. And in the bus, there was like a person that came to me and was like, oh my God, what's your fragrance? And I was like, already? Okay. I don't get, I don't wear fragrance for compliments, but it's quite, you kind of appreciate when this is happening, right? It fragrance I did the most enjoy this year, which was a big surprise for me because as you can see, I, I, I've got like a bit expensive taste in fragrance, which is a bit annoying to be fair. But uh, I don't know. I just, I just like that. Um, that kind of luxurious thing about fragrance but yeah this is Ariana Grande I've talked about it in my top 10 kawaii and uh, this was a uh, cloud this is a fragrance we heard about a, a lot this year because a lot of people said that it looks like uh, Francisco Dijon um, Baccarat 540 and I've got a little story recently about this is I'm not saying anything but um, one of th this fragrance uh, the 540 and she was like oh I still want to get it, but it's really expensive and I can't afford it like this, but I love the scent. And I said, you know, uh, you can buy something that it look like if you don't want to spend that amount of money, which is something I'm not encouraging, okay? I do love the Francisco de Jean anyway, but whatever. Uh, but uh, I said, just try this one, please, and uh, tell me what you feel. And she was like, oh my God, this is exactly what I want. and. It's true, it, it looks a lot. I would say Francisca de Jean one is more refined. Maybe a tiny less sweet and doesn't smell that much coconut, but uh, I mean, you, you can tell, you can tell. So basically I do love this and I love the scent of whipped cream and coconut. Uh, this is for my girly moment and uh, Sometimes I like a little bit like more girly scent and more warm and cozy and this is what I go for. And, uh, finally, the ninth, I wanted to talk a fragrance that I was not expecting at all because I've been gifting the fragrance uh, by uh, um, Michele Fragrances. So, uh, and I was not sure at the beginning if I could rock a fragrance like that. So this is a Désir Toxic. I've done an unboxing video on it as well. Um, I absolutely adore this fragrance now. I saw like, because it's really opulent, it's really intoxicating. There's a lot, it's really insane actually how it stays on the skin and how it's long lasting. The hand, the scent is like, it's beautiful, but it's, it smells nearly, like there's a touch of bit of a um, fougère kind of feeling, like a bit aftershavey feeling, but then there's a lot of oriental notes inside. A greenness really intoxicating 
in the beginning that start with a bit of citrus but then dry down it's something a bit warmer cozy and um i would say uh, i think for, it's definitely unisex but it's a bit more masculine and i thought it was going to be too much on me well Anyway, um, so yeah, so now when it's really cold like that and I want something comforting like a hoodie jacket or I need I need something there and I want people to notice that I'm here, this is stunning and this is insane and during this winter I'm actually like wearing it a lot, a lot of time and I love it and I don't, I don't actually care to have compliment really on this one because I really love it, love it, love it. I think it's something very different and I think like uh, people can, when they, uh, I ask a friend what did she think about that and she was like whoa this is like crazy opulent and I do, I do like that so this is, this is beautiful and look at this bottle I mean, stunning. And finally the 10th fragrance I wanted to talk about is something that I wore a lot, a lot, a lot this year and this is 1957 by Chanel. This is one of their new uh, exclusive available. This fragrance is just incredible. It actually does look like a bit of Soleil Neige, Tom Ford, but in a different way. The Chanel one is a bit more uh, elegant, I would say, in a way, because it's not as warmer. It's more something quite hairy. You know, the space in the fragrance is not too much going on you. Starting with bergamot, then you have three layers on the tr in the heart, in the head, and in the trail of white musk, which is amazing because it gives that cottony, clean freshness to the fragrance and without uh, you feel you feel extremely clean really when you wear that and it's it's you can't classify this fragrance which i think is amazing um i think it is really something extremely modern that you don't smell everywhere it's got a base in sandalwood which is creamy but not too much definitely not a smoky creaminess like tom ford will do this is this is something very refined elegant and you can smell all the ingredients one after the other and I think it's, it's so so charming and there's a touch of iris that gives the powderiness all around the ingredient that protects them early and gives this blushy blushy effect and uh, I love that and I, I feel like for my daytime during winter during spring during summer all my daytime I want to wear this fragrance and I did uh, mix it with a lot of uh, oriental or very smoky fragrance and it was perfect this this is a pure jewel so yeah that was my 10th one 10 but not the least finally before i mean this little video i wanted to talk about two discoveries that i've done this year that I, which i'm really happy about and uh, you probably know because i've talked about them already and this is um, le jardin retrouvé fragrances so i've got sandalwood sacré and verveine d'été uh, no, Sandal was actually a vanity. Anyway, you can't see it. Um, but yeah, those ones are really beautiful. They smell very natural. Uh, they really give a, a lovely metaphor of, of an image. I don't know. Uh, I do love this fragrance, and I feel this is a house that um, I need to share about. And you probably would be really happy to try their discovery set or anything like that. And then one of uh, the other one I wanted to talk is Sensalim, just because. It's not really a fragrance, it's more like an oil, a fragrant oil and this is a Moroccan musk so I've got the tiny tiny little bottle like this and I've got a, a bigger one uh, but this is something that I've been using every day as well it's always in my handbag and I mix it with all the fragrance I said before like I rub that and then I spread the fragrance and I don't know, like it gives a bit of uniqueness uh, to what I wear and uh, even sometimes I wear it completely alone and I think it's so beautiful. I've got also the Moroccan musk spray and I think they go extremely well together so I just wanted to say yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's it. This is what I wore the most in 2019. I hope next year in 2020 I could do exactly the same video and tell you a lot of new fragrances that I enjoy wearing. Maybe there will be some that they will be the same but um, this is this is my fragrance of this year that's for sure some are new some i just discovered some i always wanted to get so i'm um, really happy yeah definitely i hope 2020 will uh, get you a lot of good things for yourself as much as for me and um, that this journey will uh, carry on because i really do enjoy it 
and I think you can feel it like um, I wake up today thinking like oh I need to do a little video and I was like yeah really happy like uh, I was really happy to film you know very excited it's getting more and more excited to film every time so that's it and uh, for the next video that's gonna arrive this week as well uh, definitely gonna be something a bit more um, original you will see bye now <laughs>